We're testing this Canyon e-bike with this tow rope and four heavy vehicles. Let's see what it can tow. <laughs> Hello everyone. Today is going to be epic because on the back of my buggy here, we have the Canyon Strive CFR on and we're going to be pushing this motor to the limit to see what it can tow today. So for this challenge, we're gonna start off by towing the CF Moto Z Force 1000 buggy and the towing bike has the Bosch Performance Line CX race motor. Now that is a super powerful e-bike motor, but what can it actually tow? I've done this in the past and we got some pretty crazy stuff towed, but I've never done it with a Bosch race motor. So let's start off with the buggy and see how easy the pulling goes with this. The buggy's got its own tow rope built into it, so we can use that as the as the connector to the bike. We'll wrap that round there so it's not too high. Here we go. Can we pull the 675 kilogram buggy with an e-bike? Oh yes, easy. Getting a bit of slidiness on the... Oh, it's so hard to stay straight though. Yes! That is... Uh-oh, there's a car coming. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's incredible. Louis, get in it with while you're filming, then we'll add another like 70 kilograms to that, won't we? There we go. Yeah! <laughs> it's working. Oh my God, it's so hard though. God, that is ridiculously difficult. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'd say, oh, I'd say that's an achievement. We got 700. What's that, 740 kilograms now? Let's move on to the next vehicle and see what we can tow that's bigger. We've now moved on to the next vehicle. This is my Mercedes Vito van, which weighs 1,873 kilograms. That is a huge step up compared to the buggy. And what we're gonna do is tow it backwards we'll just wrap this round i'm going to make it longer the cable as well so we've got a bit more room to get out of control it is wet today so we might get some huge burnout action van is set up to be towed here we go close to two tons with the bosch race motor oh. I think once it gets going, it will actually work. Do you know what? I think the handbrake's on. The handbrake was on. <laughs> Poor bike, just giving it hell for no reason. Okay, handbrake is off. Let's give it a go. Oh my God, that is so easy. I've right, got to try and get up onto the pedals and stand. See, as soon as you turn like that, it makes it, it's really impossible to stay upright. Oh yeah, there we go. No way. Can even change gear. Oh my God, I'm gonna crash the van. Right, that is ridiculous, we've done it. It pulls the van like there's literally no tomorrow. That's a sick. So if your van does break down, get your canyon out, tow it home. Let's get a bigger vehicle out. We've now switched to the 2,100 kilogram Mercedes Sprinter van. Now this one has got a bed in the back and a few bits to make it into a camper van. So it's at about 2,000 three 2400 kilograms i'd say because it's got water tanks in there as well if this can be moved we're going to step it up so big that mines are going to break we're literally in the middle of a road right now so let's get this done quick i'll get my lid i have left the van running so 
I can quickly move it if anyone starts to come along. So we're going to get this to its optimum length. Oh, it's so on. Quick, quick. No cars coming. We've got to take the handbrake off. Quick. This is so exciting. Is it going to work? Who knows? But I have faith. Full power mode, no cars coming. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh my God, it's actually working. That is too easy, man. Oh, I'm out of control. Oh, let's get a good length on this one. I've changed up a gear. Yes, the momentum. Oh, it's incredible. I don't want to go too quick because I've got to actually stop it. Can you believe it? That is nuts. Let's get that out of the way. Oh no, it's got momentum. Quick. It just pulled a sprinter van. Let's move on to the next one, which is massive. I went big. Let's see if this thing can be towed. This is my Phoenix liner motorhome. And it's so heavy, you need a special license to drive it. I believe it's 8.2 tonnes. So, the chances of this getting pulled is minimal, but also very, very exciting. So we've got the canyon here. Let's get the tow rope out and make history in this car park. When we first started with the buggy, that kind of felt difficult. And then the vans were way easier than the buggy for some reason, even though they were double the weight. And this might be the easiest thing on earth. The time has come to push the button. That's actually from that galvanized song. The time has come to push the button. Anyway, full power. Lowest gear. Is history about to be made in this car park? It kind of looked like it moved a bit, didn't it? Am I just imagining it or is that actually moving a bit? Is it moving? I don't think that's possible, is it? It's stupid. That is stupidity. If we use this random energy drink can. That's the goal. Oh, I'm not in turbo. Come on, you must be able to move. Oh. It's not, is it, at all? Right, operation, let these tyres down. This has to happen, Louis. That's so soft now and good, Yuri. Oh, yeah. The wheels won't spin now. Huh? What, so it has moved? Oh my God, it's working. Right, if we can just get that going so I can... No. Ah. That's nuts it's moved to there though. Oh. No, we've hit our limits. I mean, that was wishful thinking. The fact we've crushed a can with it, well, ridden onto a can, means it did move it. It probably needs to be dry and have some sort of elastic band, doesn't it? So you can go like, bang, and it slowly start pulling. Although if you do that, you might fire backwards in a fakie. Oh, that's so annoying. So there we have it. The Canyon's drive on CFR with the Bosch race motor has met its match at a huge 
8,200 kilograms, which is obviously ridiculous. The fact it pulled that sprinter, which is over two tons with ease and in the wet, what are you waiting for? Go and get one and climb some hills. See you in the next one. To the skull.